but you know I'm here. Hoochie hoochie men, <laughs> hoochie hoochie everybody. John, John, the press. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What was the question? What is your position on the Iraq policy? Is the surge working? Oh yes, it's working. I feel all bubbly and caffeinated. Uh, I, I think she means the troop surge, John. Oh, of course. Yes, the surge is working. I just got back from Iraq, and there's definitely more American troops there, and and that's the very definition of the surge. But General Petraeus just testified that he's recommending a pause in the withdrawal of troops that will need to keep 130,000 troops there indefinitely. Exactly. We need to keep the troops there as long as possible to keep the surge working. If the troops come home, there will be less of them, and the surge will have failed to surge by definition. That would be the opposite of surge, which is uh, desurge or submerge or lurch or splurge. Right. That's right, Joe. We need to splurge in Iraq. Speaking of splurging, the Pentagon is now requesting another emergency supplemental funding bill of $100 billion. We've already spent more than $600 billion. Is this policy sustainable economically? Look, if we spend less money in Iraq, then the splurge will fail. If $600 can stimulate the American economy, and I believe it can, imagine what 600 million billion kajillion will do for the Iraqi economy. But the Iraqi government is running a surplus. Why should the American taxpayer continue to subsidize them? What are you willing to let the Iraqis handle for themselves? We can leave it to the Iraqis to decide um, what, what kind of tax code they should have. The most important thing is that we have toppled the statue of Saddam and now Iran is free. Iraq. Iraq. Uh, Iran. Mattapan. Talibanistan. They all hate us. They all hate us and so we have to liberate them. What is your position on Iran? <laughs> I think I feel a song coming on. Bum, 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 Iran. Bum, 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 bum. What? Bum. What? Look. Only the most deluded of us could doubt the necessity of this war. Everyone I've talked to, and I've talked to several people about this, Norman Podhoretz and Henry Kissinger and Norman Podhoretz and Genghis Khan, experts, you know, in the region and other places and stuff, and the consensus is that this Ahmadinejad this and that has been taking al-Qaeda into Iran and training them and sending them back. But Iran is Shia, and al-Qaeda is Sunni. I asked General Petraeus whether Al-Qaeda was an obscure sect of the Shia, and he said no, but I don't think that Al-Qaeda is sunny, like shiny, happy sunny. I think they're, I think they're dark and gloomy people. Sunny, John, not sunny. Sunny, Shia, sunny, whatever. Shia sells artillery shells by the Shia shore, see? Wait, Al-Qaeda? It's common knowledge, and it's been reported in the media that most foreign tourists in the United States come from Al-Canada. They infiltrate the border, they take advantage of our weak dollar, or they come here and commit acts of tourism. That's well known, and it's unfortunate, and that's why we need to succeed in this war on tourism and defeat Al-Canada. Al-Canada, come on, John, we have to go meet your wife. Heenius and oh, yes, yes, meet Carol. No, no, she was your first wife. We need to meet Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou who? All right, well, thank you for coming, and remember, I'm, I'm John McCain, and I'm reporting for duty. Okay, let, let's go, John. No.